Hello friends, in this video we will make our Mac terminal to look like this from this. So let's start. So for that I have so for that I have listed a sequence of commands we have to execute and we have to clone some plugins for our terminal. So let's start. So first we need to install brew which will help us in installing iterm. So let's run this command. It will ask for the password. Please enter your Mac password here. Enter again. So it will take some time to install. So before that, let's see the second command. So next command is we will use brew and we will install item. So still installing, it's taking some time. Okay, it's installed now. Let's enter our second command. Okay, so here we are installing a terminal named item and the second version of it. This is installed. Next we will install this oh my JSH, which is quite famous for the terminal theme. Let's install it. So see, as soon as we install oh my JSH, our terminal look change and the, as you can see now the directories are of different color. This online directory is of some different color. This zip file is of some different color. And like, like that, these, are, these white colors are files. So now terminal is more visually appealing. Next, next, what we have to do is we have to install this theme. So next, what we have to do is we have to clone this theme named power level 10k. So let's install it. Okay, it's taking some time. So once it is cloned, we will install some plugins for oh my JSH. Let's copy this one. Okay, this is installed. Let's clone this one as well. Now, next clo clone the second plugin. So, this pl the first plugin will help us in syntax highlighting, and the second will help us in auto suggestion of the commands. So, let's clone the second one. Okay, this is cloned here. Next, what we will do is we will create a file called jdshrc and we will add this variables so let's go here so next next what so next what we'll do is we'll we will open this file in the terminal in editing mode and we will copy paste these values so let's go here run with vi editor and what i will do is i'll go somewhere down okay let's copy this somewhere go to in first we need to press i and get into insert mode and now we need to copy these things let's copy this we have we already have a plugin called git that's why let's paste it here and we will press escape colon w q and enter now let's restart our terminal let's terminate this and let's start item this time okay see now by default let's always allow it now as you can see by default we have is asking for some config so as you can see now power level 10k as we have already installed as we installed this power level 10k it's asking for some configuration so let's say now we need to configure our theme based on our preferences so first is install this font i will press yes here so now it will start installing the fonts now it says that please restart item 2 so let's restart it command q ok and item ok next it's asking is it will ask some config based question like does this look like a diamond so you can say yes Let's zoom in a bit. Does this look like yes? There will be multiple questions like this. You can 
So basically, you will see multiple questions like this. It checks for whether you are able to see the fonts correctly or not. So this is what is it around one. So here you have to press one. Yes. Okay. So which one do you like the most? So I will go with two looks good to me. Next is character set. I will go with Unicode one. Uh, round color. Round color. I think one, two, three, four is good. I will go with four. Time format one. Which, which kind of this thing? This one. Do you need zero or divide something like this? Which one do you want? I will go with one. Uh, this one I will go with three. Similarly, you can choose all the preferences. I will pause for now and I will complete this task. Okay, so now I have completed this task and as you can see, my terminal looks better than before. Next, next is, next I have some bonuses for you. Let's add a top bar for this terminal. Now these all commands, now we have ran, since we have ran all these commands and we have configured our terminal, Since we have ran all the commands and configured our terminal, now let me give you some other tips which will make your, make your terminal look more fun. Like. So let's go to this session and go to this, we will have something called edit session and let's go to this session and enable this status bar and close this. Now you can click this status bar and you can add the CPU utilization, you can add how much memory is being utilized what's the speed of your network and what's the time like this you can add this at the top of the terminal and they say dark colors automatic let's keep it automatic and press ok now in this session you will be able to see your CPU utilization, RAM utilization, network speed and time like this you can enable this top navigation will be available only for the current session of the terminal 